Hi guys, welcome back to Sun Healing. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for your likes and comments. Thank you to those who were able to participate to Reiki uh, last Friday. Uh, if you weren't, the Reiki um, session is uh, recorded so you can find it on the channel. There's going to be another one coming up on Friday, more Reiki healing and I hope to see you guys there. So today's reading is actually a pick a card that's going to be about a love subject, but I don't know what this is going to be. I have already pulled three piles of card without a question. Okay, so um, yeah, I have three piles, but I don't have a question yet. So we're going to see and find out the question together. I'm going to read you. I already pulled a few um, questions here, and then we're going to try and pick a one together. So I'll tell you. So the first one, who's coming towards you in love? I'm going to put it here and then we're going to pull the question together. I thought it would be fun to channel um, out of nothing. Who will you marry? Next question is, who's in love with you? So these are some of the most popular subjects that I find in terms of love. Who's obsessing over you? What else? So we have who is taking action towards you what else we have what do they want to tell you <laughs> i'm super excited about this by the way <laughs> who misses you right now and the last question i have for pick a card is what does your person like about you perfect so let's see Let's see which pick a card is it going to be today. <laughs> Alright, let's pick something. Which one is it going to be for today? Okay. okay Who is taking action towards you? Perfect. So let's get started. I already have three piles. Pile one is with this yellow flower. Pile one, who's taking action towards you, pile one. Pile two is with this purple green flower, pile two. Pile three is with this white and pinkish flower, pile three, who's taking action towards you. Hi, Pile One. You chose the yellow flower. So let's take a look. Who's going to be taking action towards you? So like I said, I have already pulled a few cards. Let's see. Let's get started with the energies here. Angel of Love, Pile One, and Energy Balance. Okay, who's going to be taking action towards you, Pile One? I'm hearing right away someone who um, has a lot of feelings towards you, someone who has emotions towards you, someone that you could have uh, activated or reactivated or helped healed the heart chakra. This person is feeling uh, the need to come your way. There is a, a very strong pull towards you, uh, specifically around the heart, around the, the emotional um, need basically to come your way this person really wants to express something to you here pile one this person could have had um maybe health issues or health concerns or even uh, emotional blockages or mental health issues in the recent past this person could have taken a step back to heal or maybe to reflect on their feelings towards you this person wants to open up to you. This person wants to confess their love towards you. I'm also picking up that this person might want to gift you something by one. A gift of love, something that 
will show uh, their feelings towards you, how much they feel uh, connected to you. I'm also hearing this person could be connected to your Venus, so some of you guys could have um, a conjunction in your Venus sign with this person. Your moon sign could be also uh, conjuncting with this person, Pile 1. This person could have been sending you telepathic messages. You might know that this person is already having feelings or you might have doubts uh, from your part that this person has feelings for you. You might feel that this person is into you somehow. Pile 3, Pile 1, sorry. This person could have been lacking confidence at some point. I'm feeling the solar plexus chakra here. This person could be really working right now on their confidence to come your way. This person could be in their late 40s or the late 30s. This person feels that you are very complex, very different, very unique, very... Um, almost I'm hearing strange. There's something about you that is not maybe their usual type or not their um, typical um, love because of culture. It could be because of uh, race. I'm hearing this person might have sent, tried to send you a message and they have deleted it. I'm hearing delete messages or deleted messages here. Some of you could be called Ange Angelica, Angela, Angie. I'm picking up Virgo energy here, as well as Libra and Taurus, pile one. This person could be doing yoga or meditation. This person could be into energy healing. Who else is this person? Pay attention to the red flags. This person could have gone through a lot of healing recently. They could have gone through maybe uh, health issues, mental health issues, emotional issues. You guys could have had a past together and things could have um, went south, I'm hearing, or this person might have wanted to heal or to pursue you after healing. I'm also picking up that this person could have been wearing a mask around you, wanting to pretend something that they're not. This person has been sending you signs about their love. You guys probably have a feeling who this person is. Um, you have been receiving signs, synchronicities. Um, I'm hearing feathers lyrics, songs, specifically around music. This person feels that you have a lot of charisma. This person is watching you or has been watching you. Some of you, this person could have even stalked your uh, social media. There is a sense of danger around this person, Pile 1. Um, almost like maybe taboo or a feeling of um, this shouldn't be or this shouldn't have happened. You guys could have been in a secret relationship, maybe a sneaky link here by one. I'm hearing a secret message, um, secret messages or secret text messages or deleted messages, messages that shouldn't have been found or shouldn't be seen. You guys have definitely maybe different cultures or different background in terms of maybe race or I'm also hearing social backgrounds if it's not race or culture. Very different social backgrounds by one. This person is definitely watching you. What else? 
you have the ace of swords and the five of pentacles Oof, this person you could have cut off your life or you could have released from your life this person could have suffered from house issues i was picking that up with this energy balance card yeah this person could have suffered from um again i'm picking up mental health issues here especially with the ace of swords this person could have been very confused and is now getting clarity this person could have been a little bit tough with their words with you or you guys could have a difficult conversation the last time you spoke this person might uh, wanted to say more or might have wanted to say <clears throat> their truth that they were unable to or they felt that it was inappropriate this person is coming with the swords of truth this person is going to be saying something that you're not going to expect here by one this person is really working up their confidence. They could have gone through a lot of um, trouble with finances, career, but I'm mostly picking up health, mental health. This person could have been depressed or felt like uh, things were not working out for them. I'm also feeling this person might have wanted to reach out multiple times and they just stopped themselves every time they had to like pull back or they felt that you guys would reject them or that um, they would have to tell you the truth, which is not something that this person might have wanted to, especially with this red flags. This person might have wanted to hide this truth from you, but they're now ready to say something. This is some kind of clarity coming your way here, Pile One. A communication about the way they feel. Definitely this person has been missing you. Uh, fantasizing about you fantasizing also about the discussion or the conversation you guys would have like i was picking that up as well this person writes messages and deletes them something about conversation that ha hasn't happened or that this person has been fantasizing about happening but would never happen or um or would be too difficult to have I want some of you, it's person from your past is coming back to take action and speak to you again, coming back with a message of truth, coming back with a communication here, a conversation that was needed. Some of you, it is about closure. So if you're not interested in this person from your past, it's going to give you closure. It's going to help you with answers here that you've been looking for. And here and hear them out, at least hear them out. Let's see if we can pick up more messages. I just want to see why, um, why is the Ace of Swords here? Why the Ace of Swords? What is this message that this person wants to say to Pile One? Strength. A lot of attraction towards you, Pile One. Again, solar plexus area. So this person could have Leo. You guys could have Leo in your chart. This person is trying to embody a lot of strength and come your way here. They're trying to be, uh, I'm also hearing the bigger person. They're trying to apologize or come your way and speak to you frankly. There is a need to be strong and be confident here, which is not something that is easy for this person. They're gathering their strength. They're trying to also uh, manage their maybe... They're trying to manage themselves in order not to act too uh, inappropriately or maybe too um, randomly or spontaneously in a way that you guys uh, might not understand what they meant. So this person is, tr is really trying, it's been, they've been rehearsing their discussion with you, the conversation has been rehearsed multiple times. They want to come your way. They've been trying to even reach out here. I want some of you might have blocked this person. This person could be living at a distance from you, Pile One. This person sees you as their most abundant option, the option that they've always wanted, someone that uh, brings them a lot of strength, a lot of confidence. You could have brought a lot of confidence to this person when you guys are around them. You guys have uh, this aura, magnetism about you, charisma that they very much enjoy having around. Very attracted to you, Pai One, even sexually attracted to you, Pai One. 
This person has a lot of fantasies, a lot of things that they want to tell you about the way you look. Some of you have beautiful hair. I'm hearing something about your hair and your confidence, the way you look, the way you style yourself. Anything else? Two of Swords. Yeah, this could have been a difficult ending or you guys could have really um, ended in bad terms. This person is definitely healing their hearts. They're going through a difficult time. They feel left out in the cold. Some of you, this could have been a third party and you guys could have left uh, or just cut off this person, especially with these signs are cautioning you. So this person could have been in a third party or could have been, uh, could have done something that was very hurtful to you. This person is coming back with more truth or wanting to speak to you, say, say something that you don't know or just at least get closure or help you get closure by one. This person could have hurt you in the past for sure. This person is going through it right now. They're receiving their karma, whatever happened before. There is a need for emotional release or mental clarity or closure here, by one. This is something that's coming your way. Yes, three of wands. This person is waiting for the right time to come your way. They're watching you from afar. They're actually planning to come your way. They might contact you very soon here, Pile 1. Let's get an advice for you in terms of who is taking action towards you, Pile 1. Advice for my Pile 1. Coats of the Seeds. The blueprint is within you. Take the next step. I love this. It's like a baby in the seed. Let's see what it says. Coats of the seeds. What's your soul calling you to do? What's one baby step you can take? This card delivers the message that within you, you have all you need to create what you're destined to by one. To move through everything that life delivers and to navigate your way through any terrain. The blueprint has always been seated within. Trust that you have within you the codes for the most glorious rose garden waiting to bud and bloom. Trust those codes. Remember that blueprint. All you need to do now is take the next step. And tomorrow, take the next. If you continue taking baby steps each day, on a day not too far from today, you look back and discover the most breathtaking garden of roses all around you. This is beautiful, Pile 1. You're being invited to take one step at a time, especially if you guys are still healing from a heartache or heartbreak here, Pile 1. If you're interested, definitely connect with me. Um, we are doing Reiki on Friday. We're healing the heart chakra. We're concentrating on the heart. Pile 1, if you're still healing, you're being told to take one step at a time. The healing is happening for you. Some of you are in hermit mode or you've been taking a step back here. Or <clears throat> I'm also picking up some of you have been um, reluctant in terms of dating or starting something fresh. When it comes to love. So take one step at a time. You don't have to do everything all at once. Some of you are starting something new in terms of your career. Some of you are starting or you're wanting to start something and you're not sure where to start. There's no need to rush. Everything is within your hair pile one. All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading pile one. If you did, please don't forget to like and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye. Hi, pile two. You chose the green purple flower. So let's take a look. Who's taking action towards you? Let's take a look at their energy. The horse, take up the reins of your life. And patience, number 60. Pile 2, who is taking action towards you? First of all, we're picking up very strong young energy with this horse energy. Very masculine person. <clears throat> I'm getting Aquarius vibes here, pile 2. This person could have Aquarius in their chart. Um, this person cares about their freedom, pile two. This person cares about adventure. Maybe you are having a, some sense of um, 
you know, traveling. This person can have Sagittarius in their chart. They like movement. They could be people who work um, in an environment where there's a lot of traveling, or they might just enjoy traveling in general. They might travel a lot. Some of them might actually uh, like going long distance traveling. This person could have been uh, away from you for a while, perhaps you, or this person could have waited for a while to take action towards you. This person, I'm here in divine timing. This person is feeling that it's now time to go towards you. The divine timing is actually a now, pile two. I'm also picking up that if you know who this person is, you guys have been very patiently waiting. And now it's happening. You guys might be seeing a lot of tens, 10-10. Ten, ten. You guys are closing up a cycle here, pile two. This person feels that it's now take time to take charge or take up the reins of their life and come your way. They see you as a new beginning, a new dawn. Some of you, this person, I'm feeling that um, you could um, know who this person is and is coming your way um, to offer you something new. This person wants to speak their truth. There's a lot of throat chakra here, throat activation. This person might feel that it's time to tell you what they feel or to tell you what they see this relationship or this connection going forward in the future. This person want movement in their life. This person could have gone through a lot of things here, having to go, um, I'm hearing surrender. A lot of them had to surrender uh, a lot of their power to others or they had to be in connections that they were not really happy in. And they're trying to now change this and really take up the reign of their lives, take up, um, take a new chance here and do things differently by two. You guys could have clear audience abilities, pile 2. You guys could be picking up messages through your ears. Um, you guys could have um, a connection with horses here. This person could have been born in a horse year, or you have in the horse year. I'm also hearing that for some of you, this person has a child. And this has uh, had an impact on um, them wanting to take action right away. They had to wait for a while for things to be sorted out with this, uh, with their child or with their families. I'm also hearing that this person could have Capricorn in their chart. This person is very good looking, very muscular for some, this person likes to work out or has a very lean body or very muscular body, this person could be quite tall or taller than you, to have their unique looks, they like to look good, they like to have uh, their appearance almost like perfect, they always love to dress nice, they have a sense of wanting to look good. I'm also picking up pile two that this person um, could have shown their attraction towards you and you guys could have taken it uh, maybe that it's just sexual but it's more than that pile two. There is definitely a lot of sexual attraction here. Um, some of you could have made this person wait. You guys could have wanted to test this person, see if this person will wait for you. I'm hearing that song from Alaya. If first you don't succeed. Dust yourself up and try again. Dust yourself up and try again. Try again. Yes, try again. From Alaya. I'm feeling uh, somewhat um, an impatience though, pile two. This person has been impatiently waiting and it's time for them to move forward. I'm also picking up something could have happened important in the winter season. You guys could have met in the winter, or you guys could have separated in the winter, or you know um, you know that this person could have had their birthday in the winter season. So Capricorn maybe, or uh, Aquarius, Sagittarius.
I'm hearing this person could have a mustache or a facial, um, facial hair and something that you find attractive. I'm also here in surfing. For some of you, this person likes to surf or likes to go. Uh, I'm also here in biking in the mountains or in the forest. What else? The sun. Wow. Leo energy. <sighs> Pile two. This person has a very playful attitude. This person wants, again, there is another horse here. <laughs> Pile two. Who is this person taking action towards you? Definitely horse is... Uh, maybe their animal spirit or maybe like i said they were born in the horse here uh freedom i'm picking up a lot of freedom a lot of light-hearted energy this person wants uh success with you definitely this person is getting ready to reach out i'm picking up that you guys could um connect or have something significant happen around the new season july august I'm hearing you guys, they find you to be their, run, their, their ray of sunshine. Very strong sun energy, pile two. This person sees you as a yin and yang energy. They find you to be very receptive to them, or they want you to be very receptive to them. They see you as a complementary to their energies here. So you guys could have a lot of yin in uh, your energies, very feminine or very receptive. Again, I'm picking up that for uh, some of you, this person definitely has a child and this has had an impact on uh, this connection. This person is working on the next steps here, yeah, pile two. The next steps to come your way. This person is closing a chapter. There's a lot of tens, 10, 10. You guys could be seeing a lot of tens. Um, this person is closing a chapter coming your way. Um, is actually something very exciting to them. They can't wait. There's something here about a knowing. So again, clear cognizant, clear audience. You guys probably know this person is going to be approaching you soon, or you have a feeling that this person is coming your way. This person wants to approach you with something in their hands. Um, they might offer you sunflowers. I'm hearing the clock ticking, so this person is just waiting for the right time. They are still waiting. There's a lot of impatience and impatient energy. This person wants to charge in with this horse energy, come your way, rush in. So there could be distance between the two of you. This person might have to travel your way. This person here is known to have a very generous attitude, especially around the people they love and they care about. Very generous, very open-hearted. They're very, um, they, they are actually even generous on here with their acquaintances. They could have leaderships, leadership qualities. People like to follow them. I'm also feeling this person might, um, again, have, have um, a sense of look or appearance that people love. Their attitude is very open to the world, very sunny, very uh, productive. They like a challenge. They might work hard. They definitely like a challenge. They see you as a challenge. Your eyes, there's something about your eyes, Paul, too. You might have noticed that this person loves to stare at your eyes. I'm hearing this is going to come to you as a surprise, so some of you might feel it, but you don't have actual proof that this person is coming your way. This is coming as a surprise for you. What else? Who is this person? Make the effort. Oh, this is so sweet. Final two. This is such a beautiful almost like childlike energy look at all these children definitely pile two some of you have children or this person has children um or this person wants children there is something about children here but you guys just wake them up there is a, a feeling here of 
almost like childhood memories, people that they used to love when they were a child, or maybe their first kiss here, pile two. There is something very sweet and innocent here about this pile or this person here. I might feel that you guys might have received, um, I'm hearing cute emojis or cute gifts or something here that this person does that's very sweet and cute. I'm also hearing that they might have, um, um, how do we call those? If we'll set, how do we call them in English? Those little holes when you, you smile. I feel this person might have those. A very, very cute face with those, um, forgot the names in it, the name in English, but those little holes when you smile. There's something very cute about them, very sweet, tender. This person wants to really make the effort towards you. They're coming your way. They might ask you out on a date. There's something about the summer here, July, is very significant here, Pile 2. June, July, August, but specifically July. It can come as a surprise here. This person might come your way all of a sudden and give you a kiss on the cheeks. Very strong, young energy. This person is going to pursue you. They like the chase. They see you as a very sweet. There's something about you that's very naive, almost. Cancer energy, pile two. I'm picking up a lot of Cancer, Leo, um, Aquarian, Sagittarius. You remind them of something from their childhood, maybe a mother or um, someone they used to like when they were children, maybe a teacher. Some of you have a, you could have a dog or this person has a dog. This person might like cherries or you guys might like cherries. I feel this person might take you out on a date outdoors, maybe for a picnic or for a walk in the park. You guys might go um, walk by the beach if you have a beach close to you. Let's see, I want to get more. Let's see. Who is this person who's taking action towards you? Pile two. What is this? What else? Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I'm hearing this could be your future spouse or your future long-term partner. Again, more dogs. So definitely some of you here have dogs or this person has a dog. There is a connection here with your roots pile too. So this person could be part of your community. This person could be uh, part of your uh, surroundings right now. I'm hearing for some this is a work connection. This person has a strong attachment to you. You could have past lives together. This person feels very connected to you. Almost like you guys are already family. Pile two. There's a sense of family. Some of you this is your ex-husband or um, a long-term partner that you've, you've had children with. Or that you want children with. I'm hearing for some this person is going to propose. This is not for all of course, but this person for some is going to propose or you guys are going to have a big event happening in the summer. This person has already built uh, some kind of accomplishments here in their career. Uh, in their work, they might have already a condo, maybe they have their own house. Um, this person has established themselves in uh, their career path. This person has enough money to take care of you, to take care of their children, take care of the family. This person is ready for the next step in their lives. Again, I'm getting 10, 10s, a lot of 10s. 10, 10, this person is definitely closing a cycle to come your way, pile 2. 
for some, this person is older than you, five two, much older, like five to ten years. This person wants to take care of you, pile two. There's a lot of tender feeling here. This person wants to take care of you. Yes, Queen of Cups. They see us this beautiful Queen of Cups. You guys could have shared uh, tender moments together. There's a lot of sweetheart energy here, pile two. You guys could have spoken about things um, that connect you. And this person is opening themselves to you, pile two. There's a lot of cancer energy here. Again, I'm picking that up. They might see you as their ideal partner, person in, of their dreams. Some of you work with children here, I'm picking up here, maybe counselors, uh, youth counselors, youth guidance here, pile two. Some of you could be teachers. I'm also hearing some of you could be a Catholic Orthodox or could have um, roots in. Um, Christianity or Orthodox specifically. I'm hearing K names Caitlin, Kate, Krista, Karim, Cameron, Ken, Kent, Christopher. All right, let's get advice for you, how to. So what is your advice with this connection here? What's your advice? File two, your advice. The Rose of Venus, alignment, flow, right relationship, and harmony. Wow, this is beautiful, Pile two. Let's take a look at this. From the book, Pile two, The Rose of Venus. What's no longer in alignment with who you're being called to be? So this is your question that you need to inquire about. There is a sacred order to all things. Nature holds the codes of life. And as a part of nature, you do too. There's intelligent force governing all of life. The same force that tells flowers when to bloom. Our tendency to overanalyze and overthink can get us out of alignment with nature. Our resistance to change does this too. This card is an invitation to look at anything that doesn't feel in alignment. It's a reminder to trust in the tapestry of your life, your ever-changing nature, and to be dedicated to living a life that's deeply aligned. Beautiful. You're being called into alignment. And I feel this is something that's going to help you look at this couple here. They're hugging. There's a lot of alignment here. You guys are going to be aligning together. It's like this. It's so sweet. Wow, beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed your reading file too. If you did, please don't forget to like it. I always love to hear from you as well in terms of your comments. I always love to read what you guys have to say. So please write comments. Don't forget to like and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. You chose this flower. So who's taking action towards you, Pile 3? Let's take a look at their energies. You have Archangel Ariel, second chakra, and you have the butterfly. Spread your wings. Spread your beautiful wings and fly. Pile three, who is this person who's taking action? Right away, I'm hearing you guys could be seeing a lot of threes, 333, three, three, or 6666999. Pile three, so who is this person? I'm hearing part three, most of you don't know who this person is. This person is not yet um, close to your, uh, in your surroundings or not close to you, like physically at least. This person is someone that's coming uh, quite soon in your environment here part three. You might meet this person as a, like a new love or even a lot of sexual attraction could be coming your way here with this person part three. You're not going to be expecting this um, interaction or this connection. This could come as a surprise here. This person could be um, living somewhere else in the world. This person could be traveling your way, that's me. <clears throat> I'm hearing this could be a new um, 
person in your entourage so either as a friend you might meet them through a friend or through a work connection or through a hobby uh, something here that is connecting you to your creative side some some day that you're working out some day that you're outside maybe um, enjoying your time with your friends having fun a time where you're being creative relaxed and enjoying your your life here part three some of you could be in your 30s part three mid 30s or this person could be in their mid 30s with this number 36 this is going to be a process i'm hearing part three this person is going to be um taking one step forward and one step back kind of like taking their time to weigh things out or wanting to be uh, fair part three so they want balance here i'm picking up libra energy they're making sure that things are balanced between the two of you this person cares about um reciprocity reciprocity so they want to make sure that you guys are interested in them too before making a big step towards you this person is going to make um a big change or it's going to cause a lot of changes in your life a lot of transformation um, I'm hearing you guys are going to be creating a lot of memories together. You guys could be meeting them around the fall season here, part three, or the end of the summer. You guys could be seeing a lot of butterflies around the time you guys are meeting this person. Um, I'm also hearing moss, moss as well, moss and butterflies. This person could be an artist here, part three. They could have to use a lot of their creative side or be innovative. In their work if they're not an artist they use a lot of creativity in their in their day-to-day -day work or even they could have a very uh, artistic way of living part three this person could have a beautiful home with a lot of artistic um, decor or they might have a lot of paintings or there is definitely a connection here with art this person might be into the arts or could be a consumer of art they might like theater they might like um, going to galleries also hearing this person could be into pottery or making their own um making their own um i'm hearing jewelry for some of you part three some of you could be using pendulums and this is important for this connection i don't know why a pendulum could be good if you guys are trying to decide on something here. I'm also picking up plan 3. Some of you, this person is definitely working with crystals. This person likes to work with crystals in terms of healing. This person could be, uh, again, I'm getting this, making um, maybe bracelets or jewelry using crystals it's not for all but some of you yes there's something very enchanting about this meeting part three you guys could meet in a very unexpected way in a way that is um i'm hearing almost like you guys could be um kind of almost touching each other physically it's like you guys could be close to each other or just uh, fall into each other's arms somehow. There is something that is highly unexpected here, part three. Many of you have gone through a big process of transformation, especially with this butterfly. You guys could have gone through a lot of healing around the sacral chakra, part three. Many of you could have been healing your sacral chakra. You've been connecting. Um, to uh, your sacral chakra again. Many of you could have been disconnected from your creative side for a while, part three. I'm hearing uh, writer's block. For some of you, you guys could, could be writers and you could have a, a writer's block and this is being transformed for you. This is changing. 
This person could be called Gabrielle or they could have names starting with G. Or you guys could have a name starting with G. This person has a lot of layers to their personality. This is what the first thing you're gonna notice is they might show up in a certain way, but you're gonna discover a lot more about them. There's a lot of learning to this. You guys, it's gonna take you time to get to know them by three. Scorpio energy, Leo energy, Aries, What else? Let's see, pile three. Soulmate. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Pile three, this is a soulmate here. Definitely a soul tie between the two of you. Again, unexpected meeting. You guys could be meeting somewhere here, pile three. Um, like outdoor, you guys could be meeting and um, kind of connecting almost right away. Some of you have very long hair or this person could have long hair. Some of, I'm hearing for some, this is your twin. Pile 3, I feel that you guys are... Um, you guys are connecting very strongly here to the heart and the sacral chakra. There is something here that they do that's going to inspire you. You guys could become their muse or they are your muse. There is a very strong connection with inspiration. You might meet in a museum, you might meet in a place where there's a lot of art. This person is going to show you a lot of the things they do. This person is very intriguing to you, Pile 3. They're going to be very intriguing to you. Very um, interesting personality. I'm also picking up you guys are going to be very strongly attracted to each other. There's a very strong familiarity here that you're going to feel right away. Uh, you might not know why, but this is going to feel very comfortable or very uh, immediate. I'm hearing you guys are going to maybe exchange numbers right away or you are um, going on dates right away. You guys might start really fast. Yes, I'm, I'm seeing a swirl. So some of you are just really um, can't keep your hands off each other, especially with the sacral chakra energy. Maybe a lot of uh, sexual attraction, a lot of um, maybe sexual encounters as well. This person is uh, very attracted to you and will be very attracted to you, pile two. But there's something about their sense of purpose. They could have a very strong life purpose or mission here that they have. They're going to be sharing with you. Very, very um, charismatic personality. This person could have water in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Specifically Scorpio. This person could be a medium build. Let's see, Queen of Wands. Pi three. For some of you, this is same sex. Not for all, but this is definitely same sex uh, for some. Pi three. So who this person? This person is definitely inspired and an inspiration for many. This person is inspired by their life purpose. They take care of themselves. They care about. Um, what they bring into their um, life and to other people's life. This person likes to take the lead as well. This person is not shy at all, Pile 3. This person is going to be very direct with the way um, they like you. There's a lot of mystery here. Again, I'm picking up Scorpio energy, Leo, Aries. This person is continuously looking for challenges. This person grows or has grown a lot. They've gone through a lot of stuff. They had to transform a lot in their lifetime. They could be old souls here. You guys have a very strong connection here. There's a connection with Egypt as well, Pile 3. Maybe a past life in Egypt. 
some of you pile three this person is connecting to Wiccans uh, you know esoteric work occult you could be interested in the occult here so yes for some definitely this person is making their own jewelry or their own uh, herbs as well I'm hearing um, spell work for some This person, part three, you guys are going to be very attracted to each other on a sexual level, for first and foremost, and then things are going to develop. But definitely strong sexual energy here with all this uh, sacral chakra energy and the queen of wands is very attractive. Part three, you might find them to be very attractive right away, uh, very sexually attractive, very confident, charismatic. I'm hearing there's something about their laughter. The way they laugh, the way they um, they behave, the way they they're confident with themselves. Whoever they are, part three, whatever they've accomplished, they're confident. They have high self-esteem, part three. This is something that's very attractive. You get a notice about this person right away, and I feel this is also something that you uh, demonstrate. You guys are going to be mirroring each other. You guys have gone through a lot of things separately. You guys have transformed a lot. You've healed a lot and you're coming together. That's why it's getting the twin flame energy here as well for some. Some of you have um, cats in this pile, pile three. Black cat maybe, or they have. Let's see what else. By three. Who is this person who's going to take action towards you? Oh, the Knight of Wands. <laughs> a lot of wands here, Pile 3. Definitely a lot of sexual attraction. This could start as a casual connection. You guys could be um, connecting sexually and then things are going to evolve. Wow, Pile 3. This person is definitely coming your way here. Definitely strong connection uh, through the sacral chakra. Very attracted to you. Some of you might want to keep it uh, at a sexual level in the beginning, but then you guys are going to connect much deeper or you're going to feel that it's actually more than that. Very strong Leo energy here. There's a lot of lions or you guys could be seeing lions. This person is adventurous. They want to take charge. This person is going to come your way. Not shy at all. Not at all. There's just this, um, and there's something empowering about this pile three. You guys are gonna find, you're gonna find that there's a lot of fun with this person, a lot of uh, excitement. But this person could be a little bit hesitant in the beginning to go all the way in. I'm hearing they're growing out of a stage right now. They're in the process of growing out of a stage right now. So that's why they're. F I was getting this feeling that you guys are meeting a little bit later, maybe in the fall. This person is not right now in uh, your surroundings. What else? Six of Pentacles. This person is going to want balance. A lot of mirroring effects here. You guys are going to be mirroring each other in many ways, healing in many ways together. You guys are going to be um, wanting to give back to each other as well. A lot of uh, give and take here with this connection by three. This person is also someone who is um, strongly connected to others, to other people here. They want to connect with others. They're not shy at talking to random people in the street. So this person might actually approach you outside. They like to connect to others. They could have Gemini in their charts, pile three. They could have a sense of social justice and wanting to volunteer or do charity work. Pile three, this person could have done a lot of charity work here or volunteering.
This person has given back a lot to society, I'm hearing. Whatever work they've done or whatever actions they've made, this person always gives back. It's really important for them to find balance. Libra energy. One more for you, past three. Who is this person? Six of wands. Okay, a lot of wands. And you guys could be seeing a lot of sixes like I was picking up in the beginning. Six, six, six. Six of Wands. This person could be a little bit proud. You guys could have um, that in common. You guys could be very proud of what you accomplished, of the things that you, uh, you've you done in this world. And you are being seen as someone who is very strong and very confident. This person is someone who is attractive to others. People are admiring them, around them, in their surroundings. This person could be young around your age but young in general for what they accomplished for what they've gone through this person could be a leader in their field aries energy here taurus Vir virgo again i'm picking up this person could be working in a team or is able to work work in team and lead others um this person knows how to bring forth um good-hearted energy they know how to use um, people's um, strengths to um, bring forth good big good things in their life this person is very positive as well I'm feeling for some of you this person you're meeting them as soon as they're finishing something that's big maybe like a big project they could have just been promoted, receiving a bonus, finishing their PhD, finishing their master's, finishing their diplomas. There's something here, you guys are meeting just at the end of a big accomplishment. This person is going to feel very uh, dominant and very um, confident to approach you. So they will approach you, they will be talking to you first. This person is also going to see you as someone they want to conquer. They don't want other people to approach you. Definitely, they're going to be coming your way. Okay, let's get an advice for pile three. What is your advice for this person in terms of who's taking action towards you? But what's your advice? The wastelands, sustainability, slow down, tend to your garden. Take care of yourself, pile three. Let's see, what is this? The wastelands. Some of you could be needing uh, rest or time off in general. Let's see. The wastelands. What way of being is no longer sustainable for you? This is the most powerful card in the deck. It's a wake up call for all of us to stop destructive behaviors that has been resulting in us becoming brittle and unable to live in a sustainable way. The sacral feminine is abundant. She knows that the earth can provide for what we need and that she doesn't need to take more than she needs. In this card, she's, we're de she's delivering an urgent message to slow down and stop any way of being that's not sustainable to release anything that's making us brittle, to tend to our garden. So perfect, pile three, take care of yourself, find ways to release anything that's not sustainable with your, her your heart, I'm hearing specifically, around your heart and your sacral chakra, pile three. If anything is being overdone, it's important to release it or to uh, find ways to balance it. I was picking up a lot of balance energy here with Libra. All right, my path three, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please don't forget to like, and I'll see you later, bye.